Belmont from Mahalo Daily. Now just because you can afford one of these beautiful cameras, a DSLR, doesn't mean you necessarily know how to take great pictures with it. Well our friend Thomas Hawk, photographer extraordinaire, does. And he's compiled his top 10 list for taking great pictures with your DSLR. Today we're here to talk about 10 tips for the digital SLR owner. Tip number one, ISO. If it's dark outside or you're in a low light situation, you want a high ISO. If it's a bright sunny day like today in San Francisco and hot, uh, keep it low. Experiment, play around with it, but in general, uh, that's the idea. Know your ISOs. Tip number two, I meet a lot of people, they tell me, uh, I just can't take a good shot at night or in a, in a room, in a low light room. My shots are all blurry. So one thing to help stabilize your camera is anything you can to brace it. Tip number three, don't cheap out on your tripod. A good ball head tripod, it's a great investment, it'll last you a long time. Tip number four, it's all about the glass. If you have a budget for $2,000, you're probably better off buying a $1,000 body and some nice lenses to go with it. You'll get better shots in the end. And number five, join a photo sharing site. Get plugged in and interact with the other photographers around you, the community. They'll give you great encouragement. Uh, you'll be able to interact with their work. They can interact with yours. You'll get a lot of good feedback, tips, and advice. Tip number six, know your rights. You can pretty much shoot anything. You don't have to get approval or permission from people to take their photograph. Tip number seven, shoot in RAW. Most digital SLRs have an uh, option to shoot in RAW. Uh, RAW, basically, their larger files are a little more cumbersome to work with but they get a lot more of the uh, data in the picture. Tip number eight, Photoshop. Don't be afraid of Photoshop. Don't listen to the purists that tell you you should never use Photoshop. Almost any picture that you possibly uh, can take can be somehow improved just a little bit in Photoshop. Tip number nine, t this may be the most important one. Take lots and lots and lots of photos. Buy yourself a big card to put inside your camera. Uh, that's the nice thing about digital photography is that once you spend the money on the gear, it's pretty much all free from that point forward, uh, except for storage and hard drive space. <laughs> Tip number 10 is to change your perspective, or final tip. Some of the best shots I've ever gotten have been from changing your perspective. Think about all the different perspectives that you can shoot from and, and try some of them out. And so our final tip today, this is a bonus tip, is back up those photos. Have a backup strategy. If you're going to go into this hobby, uh, you need that, otherwise you'll feel terrible when you lose two years worth of great photographs. Now, your job, next job is to get out there and document your world. Best photographs in the world have yet to be taken. Go out there and take them and share them with the rest of us.